the guy responsible for flooding the streets of Miami with this liquid cocaine hotshot garbage? Our new friend Tyson Latchford. Hotshot's popular because the high's cleaner, without the crash. Or so they say. I can get Tyson in front of a grand jury thanks to this evidence, assuming he stays alive long enough. Hotshot's been showing up around the country for the last couple of years. Turns out Albert's been cooking the liquid cocaine at his compound and using the revenue to finance a sizable military arsenal. A revolution funded by drug money. <laughs> Those don't typically work out very well. The concierge of the Elmore Hotel is running a hotshot ring, delivering it to guests like it's room service. Stoddard's name came up too. I need to look into that. The real question is, who's their supplier? Time to follow these little fish upstream. Remy Neltz used a journalist and a Florida state senator to secure allegedly toxic swampland for next to nothing, then set up a drug lab there. After that, he laundered money through an anime company. Neltz might be inventive, but he's also nuts. I can't believe Stoddard would tie himself to something like this. Doesn't seem like Stoddard's type of guy. Rourke's pulling jobs around Miami and LA with someone named Big Eddie, whoever the hell that is. Probably bank hits. With the resources and firepower they're packing, there's not much else worth their time. When he's not robbing banks, Rourke hangs with Lily Kang, and even secured Dawes' blessing to kill Lily's husband, Henry. With Kang gone, the happy couple takes over the Los Angeles drug trade. But I got to Kang first. <laughs> Looks like they owe me a favor. ATF agent Barnes was working for Dawes and Stoddard. He had a dossier on Boomer and came out to Albert's camp looking for him. Probably the idea was that Boomer might lead to me. Bit of a long shot, but hell, worth sending a guy. Seems like Albert got worried that Barnes would figure out his nut job plan to start a civil war. So he has the guy killed and tortured for no good reason. It's not like he knew anything. The least I can do is make a call to the FBI tip line. Preferred Outcomes is now a major player in domestic law enforcement with its operators replacing badges in several major cities around the country. Dawes says his men are better trained, and maybe they are, but mercenaries are the last thing any city needs. Kai must have felt the same way. After all this success, Dawes got a lesson from Morgan hiding profits and using intel against his enemies. If Dawes thinks news of my father's fate can still hurt me, he's wrong. To tell you the truth, I'm glad the son of a bitch is dead.